So yes, and with a comment like this, I have to talk about primal sound. The work of using primal sound as a pedagogical approach first started with the work of Janice Chapman. She was using average, everyday, pre-programmed human noises to elicit changes from her students. Sounds like sighs and whimpers and groans and yells. This work has since been taken and developed further for contemporary vocalists by Dane Chalfin. Here's the gist of it. There are these pre-programmed sounds that despite language, help us as human beings to communicate an emotional need. These sounds are so hardwired into our limbic system that not only do we not need to try to control this sound, doing so would be getting in our way. The really cool part is that no matter how intense the sounds got, the vocal instrument would set itself up in a really efficient way as long as the emotional need to communicate was there. So yes, some emotions might put our vocal tract into non-optimal configuration, but I usually think that has to do with trying to stifle an emotion, like trying really hard not to cry. The big takeaway from this kind of work is that we actually can trust our emotions to help us create the sounds that we want to make. They don't have to be working against each other. In fact, they're designed to work together. So instead of stripping the emotion away from the technique work, I say we find really creative ways on how to better integrate them.